create, because the government creates a monopoly of control over this. It's gone up because for 30 plus years government's been involved. All the major studies show that. So the Republicans have sold us out before. And if you think when they take control of the House next year and the presidency in two and a half, three years, if you think they're going to reverse this unless you stay angry and get politically involved like you never had before, you're living in a dream world. This is only going to get worse until you say no. Now, here's the most important point. This is a total takeover of our society. Not just the health care. Cybersecurity bill. Here's the New York Times. Friday. Pentagon sees a threat from online muckrakers. Wants to shut down websites that criticize the government. Here's another one. Cybersecurity bill introduced in the Senate. And it goes on to say it gives Obama the power to shut down the Internet. They're taking over all of our industry through the greenhouse gas taxes. They've taken over the auto industry. They federalized the states with the hate bill and our police departments through NORTHCOM, through the Patriot Act. The entire society is being seized by the federal government itself under the control of offshore banks that control the big insurance companies. Okay. Another issue here is what about the tens of millions of people, 32 million total that aren't insured, but around half of those are self-employed, mow lawns, run a hot dog shack, whatever. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to be given free health care. You're going to be given supposed free health care. But the free health care you're going to be getting is a watered-down government version of Medicare and Medicaid, depending on your age. And they're reporting that most hospitals, most doctors, most dentists will not accept it because it doesn't pay them. Here's Walgreens. Walgreens, no new Medicaid patients as of April 16th. Quote, because of continued reduction in reimbursement. They're just not paid. And I've talked to many doctors. I've talked to dentists. I've talked to my dad. With Medicaid, they may wait six months to get paid, and then it's a paltry amount that doesn't even pay for the lab work uh, for the employees. And that's why more and more people are not becoming nurses or doctors. Doctors, the media scapegoats them and says they're making all these big profits. The average medical degree for a medical doctor, I pulled these numbers up yesterday, is over $300,000, not counting interest. So you're, you're in school till you're 25, 30. You're a specialist, 35. You spend 200, 300, some cases a half million dollars with taxes on it. It can be over a million with all the uh, penalties and interest and the rest of it, uh, the interest you pay on that. If you don't pay on time, it's even higher. And they're just not becoming doctors or they're going to other countries. But continuing here with all of these issues, uh, the Congress knows the federal government can't make you buy private services. But you, but you let the states pass laws that you've got to have insurance. But then the illegal aliens are exempt. That sets the precedent for this. And so now you're going to experience real tyranny, my friends. Uh, and again, you're going to fund the abortion. This promised executive order will not trump congressional law. Congressional law is constitutional. It's unconstitutional legislation, but constitutionally, it once it's passed, will trump executive order. And so you watch. You will be funding abortion, just like in foreign aid. Obama took the freeze off a year ago that past presidents had since Reagan on tens of billions of dollars a year in abortion, forced abortion funding in China and all over the world. That will now be official. You will pay to kill babies. If you morally are against it, it doesn't matter. The system is going to take your money. Another big lie. Obama promised that if you individually made under $250,000 a year, that you would not have to pay this 2 to 5% added bracket going above 40 percent they're already up to 40 they claim it's 35 but really you pay 40 percent now it's going to be 42 to 45 you're going to be paying to supposedly pay for people that are uninsured 
But here's the issue. That's 250 grand per household. That's the wife, the husband, and the children. If you're individual, the bill says $125,000. So another sleight of hand. And again, the bill is full of just arbitrary and capricious dictatorial powers where all these federal agencies get to decide what you're doing and what you're going to be spending and, and how to enforce this. And 16,500 to 20,000 new IRS employees to now be the nanny state running your life. Now, let's actually go over some of these articles. Give me a document cam shot for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Stupak announces deal with the White House on abortion funding with executive order. Okay, we got into that uh, for you. Continuing, AP, fact check. Premiums would rise under Obama plan. Scores of new taxes, all your major premiums, if you already have insurance, going up, all these new taxes. And, oh, by the way, it doesn't kick in until 2013, partially. It doesn't fully kick in until 2015, five years from now. So for four and a half years, you pay hundreds of billions of dollars a year in new taxes to the government, and you can be assured you're not going to get that money in 2015. And, again, I'm against the bill and hope they repeal it later, but the Republicans aren't going to do that. You mark my words, years from now watching this, they're going to come in and cut the supposed benefits, but then keep all the money that came in. That's how they tag team us. Okay, there won't be any refund checks from all the thousands of dollars you pay every few months to these people. So that's how this scam is going to work. For four and a half years, well, really three, you get supposedly some benefits. Some of the uninsured do, but 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 all this doesn't kick in for four and a half years fully. And by then they'll change it and you'll get none of it. But just mark my words, this is a by stealth, massive tax increase, period. Uh, again, I want to show you this article. This is out of The Hill. Uh, Republicans assail IRS provision and health care bill, and it says uh, the IRS will take your refunds and garnish your wages uh, to pay for it there. Uh, continuing, I want to get into this article right here. This is out of Gallup poll. Obama approval rating lowest yet, but and the Congress, as it says, approval rating plunges to an all-time low. But the system doesn't care. They've got a mission. They're paid for by special interest, and they are going to ram this through by hook or by crook. Uh, on the bankruptcy issue, I thought I'd actually show you these articles and go over them for radio listeners. Here's Bloomberg. Moody's, the most important private rating agency for government bonds and government investment funds, says U.S. U.K. moved closer to losing rating, Moody says. And they go on to say they believe that we will lose it and that we're substantially closer to losing it. They go on to say there is inertia in the de deterioration of credit metrics. I mean, there's not enough factories, not enough jobs, no real growth to pay for all this government. Meanwhile, the insurance company stocks, that Google that, I want to show the latest, I saw it Friday, uh, Insurance stocks up. You'll get scores of articles over that headline. They're all up because they wrote it, but they played the please don't throw me in the briar patch story. The story of Briar Rabbit, he gets captured by the farmer. He says, please don't throw me in the briar patch. The, the, the rabbit lives in the briar patch. The rabbit is safe in the briar patch. He wants to be thrown in the briar patch. Almost a 100 years ago, what, 97 years ago, the Federal Reserve ran editorials nationwide, the private banks, saying they were against the Federal Reserve when they wrote the stinking bill to take over our country and our currency and credit. Oldest trick in the book. Please don't throw me in the briar patch. I'm a swamp rabbit. I don't like the briar patch. That's where the rabbit's safe is in the briar patch. Please don't throw me in the briar patch. And so some of the public get fooled and think, oh, yeah, these people making $250,000 a year, really 125000 a year, we're going to get them. And these people with Cadillac health care plans, we're going to get them. Who do you think employs you? It's people with the Cadillac plans. It's the people that make enough money to hire employees. I've got 20 employees or more. 
And if this actually ever gets implemented, I'll have to let two or three go, bare minimum. And everybody who stays is going to get their wages cut. And then you're going to get crappy, watered-down government health care.